What's up everybody? This is Alex from the Duran and I'm here in Bucharest, Romania. Behind me you will see Ceausescu's former residence. This was Ceausescu's palace, which is I think one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, presidential structure, presidential palace in a capital in Europe. And let's take a walk now as I cross the street and I think this is a, a good place to do a video on corruption and on Romania. And we'll play a video right now on Giuliani, who was on Fox News. And as he was talking about Biden, he made a statement saying that we should now look at Romania. And everyone is now looking at Romania. He's like, just wait until all the news about Romania comes out. And I'm paraphrasing what he said on Fox News. But now everyone's digging into Romania to see how Biden is connected, Joe or Hunter. Biden is connected to Romania and I'm going to tell you exactly how they're connected. I've been talking to a lot of people on the street here and I will give you the exact details as to what's going on. But first, let's take a look at the video by Giuliani. You know, I know the president has been saying and you've been saying you're not going to testify in front of any committee unless there's a vote of Congress uh, on whether or not they should remove him. But doesn't it also have to include the fundamental fairness issues that Newt Gingrich gave the Democrats in 98. It's all in here, Sean. This is a great letter by Pat Civilone. It lays out about eight violations of the United States Constitution, about six violations of the president's civil rights, my civil rights, Attorney General Barr's civil rights. Uh, I never wanted in my life to appear at a Salem witch trial, which would actually be fairer than this. It's a, it's a process without any due process. And the fact is it's being enabled by a completely corrupt press corps. I don't know. Uh, do you think uh, do you think we're going to hear uh, on the press that a, a member of the parliament in Ukraine held a press conference today and uh, name was Andre Dierkoch? Uh, you won't hear this on the news, ladies and gentlemen, because they censor it. You only get the news that Dems want you to hear. Dierkoch publicized documents which he said described the mechanism for getting money by Biden senior. This was a transfer of funds for lobbying activities, as investigators believe, to Joe Biden through a lobbying company. Funds in the amount of $900,000 were transferred to the U.S.-based company Rosemont Seneca, which, according to open sources, is affiliated with Biden. The payment reference was for consultative services. And then it goes on to describe another $16.5 million payment, apparently laundered payment, involving both Devin Archer and Hunter. Using political and economical levers of power, influencing Ukrainian authorities, and manipulating the issue of providing financial aid, Joe Biden actively assisted closing criminal cases. This is based on the statement today by a parliament member in the Ukraine, a very, very, a very uh, senior one, saying that Joe Biden actively assisted closing criminal cases into the activity of former Ukrainian ecology minister Mykola Zloshevsky who's the founder and owner of Burisma Group. Let me tell you who Mykola Zoshevsky is. He's a major oligarch. He stole $5 billion from his people. He very suspiciously was allowed to come back. His case got dismissed when they dismissed Hunter Biden's case. He's the guy who paid the $16.5 million and the 900000 to the Bidens or through the Biden. Well, it wasn't 16.5. It was more like $8 million to the Biden uh, group. This guy's one of the major criminals in the Ukraine, and he's now walking around free because Joe Biden got the case dismissed. And this this gentleman uh, has said that this information should be turned over to the Department of Justice and for their own purposes, they should investigate it. And I'm going to tell you why, Sean, because they suspect that the president of the Ukraine received a very major bribe in order to tank this case. I'm not Let saying me... Biden was involved in that bribe. But it's the only thing he wasn't involved in. I, this I, case I, stinks. They can run away from it all they want. And, Sean, I want you to keep your eye not just on China. I want you to keep your eye on Romania. Just watch Romania. Let me ask you this. I you won't read it in, in the New York Times or the Washington Post, but just watch Romania. This is what they call people evidence, not lies, evidence. And there's plenty of it that Biden, his son, and his brother had a 30-year-long scam to make money, millions, selling his public office. Senator first, vice president second. Ukraine 
just a tip of the iceberg. We go to China. I told you about Romania. I got another country that I have on the list. And then we go back to all the stealing they did when he was in the Senate. Sounds like this you're back in the term Biden so Inc. All right, guys, here I am at the Buena Vista Cathedral in Old Town, Bucharest. And I promised that I would get back to you and let you know what's going on with uh, the Giuliani video that you just saw, where he has now implicated Romania in this entire Ukraine Biden corruption scandal. And he didn't give many details, but I'll let you know what's going on. So there was this guy uh, named Gabriel Papavichu, and he was a real estate developer um, during the Ceausescu years and afterwards. And what he was doing was uh, buying up a lot of different land in the downtown center, and he was developing it. And he came across a deal outside of Bucharest, close to the agriculture, to the agricultural university, excuse me. And he bought this land, he got a really sweet deal. He bought it for a dollar a square meter. And this is about 254 hectares. And it was actually worth around $150 a square meter. So he ended up paying like a million, a little north of a million bucks for the entire plot of land. He ended up selling it, he ended up selling it to Ikea. And Ikea built their first shop there. And then he started to build shopping malls in that area. And he made a fortune. He made somewhere around 500 uh, million from the whole development. It, it catapulted him to be one of the richest people in Romania. Now, as he was working on his real estate uh, development, lo and behold, Hunter Biden gets in on the action in Romania as a real estate consultant. So he starts consulting and working with Papavichu as they develop real estate deals in Romania. Now, Papavichu in 2017 was uh, found guilty, was convicted for this deal that he made where the IKEA is located, where he got that, uh, that 250 hectare plot of land. He was convicted for fraud and corruption. And before he was sentenced, like weeks before he was sentenced, he bolted to the UK, to the city of London. Now, he's still in the city of London. Romania's trying to extradite him, trying to bring him back so that he could serve his sentence. I believe it was seven years in prison. And he doesn't come back. And so you had Joe Biden lobbying the Romanian government to relieve Papavishu of this sentence. But the problem with Giuliani's claim is this. Giuliani was also approached by a law firm called, I believe, Frey and Partners in the United States. And he was approached by this law firm so that he could also lobby on behalf of Papavichu and get him back to Romania. Now, the president at the time when all this lobbying was going on in order to, to you know, go easy on Papavichu and kind of, you know, abolish his, his sentence and, uh, and not be so harsh on him for that seven years that he was going to do. Now, the president at the time was this guy named Dragnea. He was the leader of the Social Democrat Party. He was the president of the chamber. Now, this guy, Dragnea, has also recently, I believe in May 2019, was also found guilty of fraud and corruption. And so his party, the Social Democrats, have all but fallen apart. I believe in the European elections, they went from 46% uh, down to 23% support. And today they're actually voting in the parliament to, to dissolve the parliament and a coalition government led by the opposition is going to form. So the Social Democrats have fallen apart because of Dragnea's corruption charges. Now, Dragnea was brought down because he was trying to lessen the sentences of people who were convict convicted of corruption and fraud. And a lot of that lobbying was happening on behalf of Joe Biden. So Joe Biden was lobbying the Romanian government when Dragnea was in power to go easy on people convicted of corruption and fraud. But Giuliani also wrote a letter, also wrote a letter on behalf of the law firm that commissioned him, also wrote a letter to Dragnea's government, urging him to go easy on Papavichu and all these guys. So, you know, while Giuliani brings up Romania, it may not be a good idea for him as well, because a lot of this stuff is going to surface. So there you have it, folks. I'm here in Romania, and 
Giuliani has now brought this country into the Ukraine scandal. And uh, what else can you say? All I can tell you is that this is a beautiful place. It's really pleasant, really great people. But um, they are also very sick of the corruption that has plagued them for the past couple of years. I think this is a sentiment worldwide, especially in Europe, I feel it. I'm sure it's happening in the U.S. as well. People are sick of the corruption. Hunter Biden's hands are everywhere. Wherever there's, there's a big deal going down, wherever there's money to be made, it looks like Hunter Biden is sent to seal the deal and get that money back to the U.S. and into the hands of his father, Joe Biden, where I'm sure it gets divvied up. So anyway, there you, there you have it, guys, from Romania, from the Buna Vestiri Cathedral. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. All our viewers in Romania, let me know if I, uh, if I got the story if I got the story correct. I've been talking to a lot of people here, and you know they're just as shocked and surprised that now they've been thrown into the, you know, Ukraine scandal, Ukraine gate, Russia gate, Democrats versus Trump, swamp versus Trump, uh, media hysteria that's taking place in the U.S. So there you have it. I think I'm going to have to make a trip to Ukraine as well, see what's going on there. Anyway, guys, let me know if you like this video by clicking that subscribe button, clicking that like button, sharing the channel with everybody you know. Donate to us on PayPal, Patreon, and subscribe star. And also get a copy of this video on SoundCloud and iTunes. The links are in the description box down below. The links for PayPal, Patreon, and subscribe star are also in uh, the description box down below. And don't forget, go to the Duran shop, pick up a polo like the one I've got here, the Duran polo shirt with the double-headed eagle looking east and west. Right now, I'm in the center, center Europe, eastern Europe. So as you see, we try to report the news wherever it is in the world. Until next time, everybody, take care.